Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. We talked about a try-catch block that would deal with a, an exception immediately. And there's two solutions when you have some type of exception. And the first one is to deal with it immediately, which is the try-catch block. Or you can pass exception to the calling method. And that's where the keyword throws comes into play. So let me give you an example. I'm going to make a class in here. Let's say, I'm just going to call it a thing object. We're going to give this two methods. Let's say public, uh, public void start. And inside here, we're just going to print out, whoops, is this how, we are going to print out just uh, thing started. I can't type today. It's thing started. All right. Now we're going to make a method that is going to need to be handled because I'm going to create a thread in there. I'm not going to create a thread. I'm just going to say thread dot sleep. And we haven't gone over threads yet. We'll go over that um, maybe in the next course that I make. Let's say public void sleep and we're going to say thread dot sleep and it takes in a long type and it's millis so what that means is every thousand that means that this uh, the object you instantiate from this class when you call this method it'll sleep or stop working you know pause for one second and then it will start doing its job again so that's why it's called sleep but as you can tell it's underlined in red and it says unhandled exception type in uh, interrupted exception so we have two choices we could have surround this with a try catch like we've been doing and I'll handle it at that method or in some cases we might want to throw this method throws this method there's a difference between throw and throws um, I'm going to do a tutorial on throw on the next tutorial but in this one throws is in the method header and you can throw multiple um, exceptions up here if we wanted to uh, separated by commas so what this is going to do is when this method is called it needs to be handled again so let's instantiate a thing object let's go thing I'm going to call it t equals new thing. And we didn't create a constructor, so you don't need to have any parameters. And we can say t dot start and t dot sleep. Okay. And we're going to get underlined it again because the unhandled exception type interrupted exception. When I say throws interrupted exception, it's not handling it here. It's throwing it to the next thing that's calling it, which in this case is the main method. So we have two options yet again. We can throw this to the header. And the problem with that is your, when, if that happens, it's going to shut your computer down or the program down. So I always prefer the try catch block. If we try and catch it right here, it won't necessarily shut your computer or your program down. Say, whoops, delete, delete. And we can just um, system dot air dot print line um, e dot get message. And in this case, I mean, I don't think it's really going to throw the air, but I was just showing you the structure of how this is. And it can get complicating. You can have, um, let me give you a little abstract example. Let me say, sleep, an exception. Let me say public void, um, we'll just call this method A, because none of these are going to really do anything. And we're going to call another method b, public void b. Alright, so b is going to call sleep. And a 
is going to call method B. And in driver class, let's get rid of this, we're going to say t.b. And sleep now is getting called into this method. So since it was thrown here, we need to deal with it here. Well, we can throw this again. Now it's got to be dealt with here because it's getting passed into method A. So let's throw it again. And now we should get an error here. We can throw that again. So pretty much what throws means is you're not dealing with the exception right away. You are passing it off to whatever else has to deal with it next. And maybe they handle it there with the try catch or maybe they don't and they pass it along. But at some point it will need to be dealt with. Um, I guess if you don't do the try catch, the ultimate thing is throwing it here in the main method and that will uh, terminate your program. So anyways, that is what the throws declaration is. And now in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to, these are all exceptions that you've seen in the last few tutorials. They're all exceptions that are in the Java library, uh, predefined stuff. So we're gonna learn how to create our own exception and how to throw it. So thank you all for watching and please subscribe.